Now, from the Three Rivers Casino Resort Sports Desk, KZI 9 Sports with Andrew Hobner. So what does it take to run a baseball team? A lot more than you'd think. If you've seen the movie Moneyball, you know there's dozens of people, probably more behind the scenes, that make a program function to its full potential. Here at the University of Oregon, it's no different. Our own KZI 9 Sports reporter Robbie Fueling has more. You know, some people go to work and sit in an office, but for Jake Stern and Stanley Basin, their office happens to be a baseball field. Instead of crunching numbers and making phone calls, they're logging pitch counts and getting the diamond ready for the Oregon Ducks as team managers. It's, it's been probably the best three years of my life, and it's given me like one of the best college experiences I could have ever asked for. So, I mean, I've gone from just standing there feeding a machine my first year here, my sophomore year, um, to being uh, one of coaches right hand guys. Jake and Stanley have a combined seven years of experience as team managers for the UO baseball program. They do anything from laundry to field preparation to even charting pitch types and velocities. That's a high spin rate on that one. I don't think that was a change up. It definitely was a fastball. Change up, fastball, 12-6 curve, whatever the pitch may be, it's valuable intel players use to better their game. You know, being able to tell them, like, you know, the exit below on a hit or the spin rate on their curveball, whatever it is, they're always very interested by it. And, you know, being able to fulfill them with that information, they're very thankful for it. You know, I'm the one getting credit, but they're the ones who are really helping me and helping me uh, with video, looking at my swing and knowing what, what pitches guys are throwing in certain counts. and. Um, I mean, that's, that's been a huge deal for me in college, and that's a big reason why I've been able to have success. So what a lot of people don't realize is that the team managers, they put in more hours than the actual players do. What makes you guys have so much dedication to a program when you don't necessarily play the game? It's all about the love for the game. and You're never really going to be able to do this ever again at, at a high level like we're at here. And being able to be around Coach, I mean, he's, he's a legendary coach. He's got over a 1,000 wins in his career. He's a future Hall of Famer. And... Just being able to learn from him and take the things that he says, it's, it's something that you don't get anywhere else. The most fulfilling part of the job is the relationships these two have developed with the players. And I've known those guys for three years now, and um, like I said, they're like one of my teammates. You know, uh, I love my like brothers for sure. Just the overall experience of being a manager is something they'll keep for the rest of their lives. I'm working in finance, and the fact that I have experience with data analytics and, and statistics and all this stuff actually was what helped me the most get this job. And, uh, you know, my employer asked basically, is this like Moneyball? And I said, yeah, in a way it is, because it's, you know, you see little things that other people, other people don't see visually on the field. And um, being able to basically tell a story from numbers is what you can do with that. Coach Horton says that the managers are the glue that holds this team together. Now, Jake and Stanley's time with the Oregon baseball program has come to an end with the Ducks not making the postseason, but they're going to use everything they've learned on this field and apply it to their professional careers. Reporting at PK Park, I'm Robbie Fueling, KZI 9 Sports.